Have you ever stolen anything before? I remember when I was a kid, about six or seven years old, a friend of mine that lived down the street showed me the latest toy that he had found in a Happy Meal, and I wanted it. Next time I was over at his house, I actually took the toy off the shelf and put it in my pocket and brought it home. The boy never found out that I took the toy. He thought he lost it. My parents and family members never knew that I had it either. The first time I pulled it out, I was excited and played with it, but then the guilt got to me. And eventually, I brought the toy back and put it in its place. And even though nobody ever knew that I had stolen the toy, I knew, and I felt guilty for what I had done, even years afterwards. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 15, God says, you shall not steal. He commands us, do not take that which is not yours. Even if the person has plenty, it's still wrong to steal. In the Bible, we hear a story about a man who had stolen his entire life. And in fact, he stole so much that he deserved to die. The government decided to execute him in the common fashion of the day, crucifixion. As he was hanging there dying, he was next to a man that we know very well. Jesus. And he paid attention very closely to what he said. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He paid close attention to what the crowds were saying and the sign above his head, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. And as he was on that cross, that thief believed that Jesus was the Messiah, the Savior of the world. And so he asked him, Jesus, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. Jesus spoke these words to that thief on the cross. I tell you the truth, today you'll be with me in paradise. He had forgiven the man who had stolen so much and guaranteed him that he was going to heaven even though he didn't deserve it. Going to heaven because Jesus would pay the price for his sin, his sin of stealing. What a credible relief this is for our guilty consciences to know that even those sins are forgiven in Jesus. Turn to him, trust in him, and know his forgiveness and love.